I think it's important as a leader to know your limits. I know some of us don't feel we have any limits and we feel invincible and think we're good at everything, but none of us are good really at everything. Sometimes we have to do lots of things because there's no one else to do it. Certainly at the formative stage of our organisations and teams and so on, we, we lack staff, we lack specialists, specialists to do things. So we kind of finish up being jack of all trades and probably master of the things we were always masterful at. There will be a couple of things within those trades we sometimes just have to do because no one else is there to do them. But I think great leaders are great because they have realised uh, their limitations. And not only have they realised their limitations, they've realised that their gift to the team is to stay inside their limitation and to become brilliant within that, to become outstanding at their strength, but to not go beyond that into someone else's strength area as if they're good at everything. I think when we don't celebrate other people's lack of limits compared to ours, so where I'm limited, I then get to stop and appreciate and champion your lack of limits in an area where I'm limited. So all of us have limitations in life and beyond the accepting of our limits, which is not at all a negative or a bad thing. I think insecure leaders think that accepting limits, um, being open about limits, is some kind of weakness. But often it is more to do with our insecurity and the belief that people expect us to be good at everything. Owning your limits and being, being brilliant inside your boundaries of limitation permits others to do the same. And to champion others who don't have the limits you have, not to be threatened by them or to try and interfere in their area of expertise as if you are also an expert because sometimes we step into other people's spheres because we have the authority to. We are the boss, we are the leader. So we can step into someone else's expertise because our authority allows us to do that but our gift does not. And I used to sit around a table with people that were far more gifted than me in their areas and I'd say, now I'm listening, now, now you're leading and I'm following, now you're speaking and I'm listening, now you're in charge and I'm not. And it's that kind of ethic that we build into great leadership teams that I don't have to be good at everything or pretend that I am. Insecure leaders try to come across like they're good at everything. Instead of saying, you know what guys, this is not my sphere, and therefore I will not be saying a lot at this point. I'm going to be listening to you do your thing like you do when I do my thing. So this, this appreciation and celebration of limits um, is what I'm appealing for in our leadership styles, in all walks of life. No one wants the leader to be um, interfering in their area because your authority lets you, but your gift says you'd be best now keeping quiet and listening and stepping back and letting others excel who don't have the limits that you have. Appreciate your limits. Um, be brilliant inside your limits. Then let others do the same inside their limits. It's a win-win scenario. Please don't try to convince us you're good at everything. We know you're not and uh, we're cool with that because we're not good where you're good. We're not strong where you're strong. As a leader, know your